Yes, today we are going to uh, discuss about RMA. We know RMA means RMA ring main unit. Uh, this is a full form of RMA is ring main unit. Uh, RMA we are using uh, mainly we are using RMA for distribution system. Okay, in uh, foreign countries we are using underground system. Uh, for underground system we are using this RMA mainly. Okay. Uh, the advantage of main advantage of this RMU is for supplying continuously without any if uh, something happens in the distribution system it will be provide uh, the continuous supply and uh, how it will provide it will be uh, we will discuss today in today's class okay now uh, we have one three way RMU the company is Saudi UC okay and there is uh, too much categories of uh, RMUs. There is a three way RMU, four way RMU. It depends on the system. Okay, today we are going to discuss about this three way RMU, Saudi DC. Okay, now we can uh, see inside of RMU. This is how the inside of RMU look like. Okay, this is a three way RMU as I told you before. Uh, and there is too much functions. First, Whenever we are operating in an uh, RMU ring main unit, first we have to uh, check the level of SF6. This is indicated by the SF6 gas. SF6 means uh, sulfur hexafluoride gas. This is used for uh, protecting from arc. During the operation, if there ha happens any arc, it will be quench the arc. We are using SF6 gas as a uh, arc quenching medium here. Okay, and there is three ways in this one. Okay, in the three ways, it includes one incoming and one outgoing, and this is mostly we are using uh, T off. Its name of T off. This is always uh, mostly it is used to connect with uh, transformers. Okay. Discussed before, uh, this is the indication of uh, our quenching medium. Okay, whenever we are operating, this must be on the green zone. We have to check this SF6 pointer at uh, green zone. If it is on green zone, we can operate this one, no problem. And if it is on red, uh, red zone, we have to make of we cannot uh, process any work in this RMU. And instead of working this one, we have to make uh, off on another RMU, which means always this uh, incoming supply coming from another RMU, okay, or any other source. We have to make off on uh, this source side and we can operate after in this RMU, okay. And there is uh, too much indications here also. We can see uh, circuit breaker switch, uh, switch one, switch two. Here also mentioned switch 1 and switch 2. Uh, I told you uh, before this one we are using incoming and outgoing uh, we are using from here. No, uh, no problem we can uh, shuffle this one we can use this one as uh, incoming and this as outgoing uh, no problem we can use whatever we, uh, we need. Okay and once we make termination this termination finished uh, before once we energize this we have we can check uh, the supply by switching here this indicates uh, three phases r y b and this indicates the other phases includes uh, this one represents switch one means mentioned here switch one and uh, this one represents switch two okay then this is uh, as i told you before this is always used to connect uh, with the transformer side okay and there is also indication here and one of the important thing in the RMU is another this one relay this name is OCEF relay over current earth fault indication relay okay we can see there are too many indications already ground trip phase trip CB SS6 gas flow okay when once the RMU energized uh, we can see if the RMU condition is 100% ready it will be indicated here as green light right and if there ha happens any fault during ground trip it will be indicated here and if happens any phase trip 
it will be in the gate here and if uh, the gas sf6 gas become low it will be also indicated here as red we can uh, go through the operation and interlocking of uh, this rmu once we have to uh, make sure make once we have we finish this termination we have to on this rmu and we can go through it uh, for opening this uh, termination box it will be always on air condition it, it is the most important thing uh, once we have to uh, make termination on the inside of the RMU, we have to make earth condition on. Okay. Once the earth, uh, once the termination finished, we have we can uh, energize this RMU. And for the purpose of for the procedure for energization is we have to uh, make off in uh, earth position. And for the procedure uh, for off in this earth position, we have to push to release this this one first and we can uh, open here and there is also, also have a handle for operating this one and now this is on earth condition here we can see this on earth and the off position is on middle and the on position is on left side okay now we are going to off the earth first Now we can off. So uh, now the earth position is off, and the earthing position completed. Now we have to put it on main switch, and now we are going to put the RMU on on from off position to on. Okay. So we can use this handle, put offset, and pull here. Then it will be on on we can see okay once we finish this one we have to close this one and pull back this one okay now the cable coming from this side is energized and uh, the same procedure is also same as here if we have, uh, the termination on this side left side is finished we can uh, off the earth by pulling this one first and by using this handle and i forgot to tell you something there is two portions in the handle always this one uh, this is belongs to Lu saudi lucy this handle consists of two ends okay this one for making earth from off position we have to use first one okay and now we can see this one earth on we can put this by supporting like this so the earthing position now currently off and the, once the earthing finished we can put it on main switch okay it's not off the earthing finished we can put it on main switch side maybe sometimes it will be uh not more so we can push like this and it will put main switch side and we can use sorry we have to pick this up okay by using this one we can we need some uh power to on make it on now this one on okay after this once this one finish we can put it on middle so it will be close and we can pull this one so both of these sides are now in on condition we can see here both of these sides are in on condition and once the operation finished we have to keep the handle here for next time operation okay and okay now both of these sides are in on condition okay uh, once this one in on condition it will be always uh, the termination represents this side and this left side is always represents this side this box we are uh, we have to make termination inside of this box we have to move this box and we can make termination uh, inside of this box okay now uh, this arm is energized now we can go to the t of side 
as i told you before this t of e is always connected to a uh, transformer mostly uh, this one connected to transformers okay this one, why is it connected uh, this t of two transformers because this relay is connected to uh, this t of and the relay if in ht side uh, loads in ht side customers uh, happens any uh, over voltage or any mistakes it will be helps to the relay will be helps to fit the t of automatically and uh, the t of always consists of consist of uh, ct current transformer and the relay is working um, by using the supply for, taken from the current transformers okay and now we can see this t of is an earth position if we want to make on position we can take we can use the same handle and we have to make now this is not same as this uh, main switch there is too much option we we can see here off or reset here on another one this is indicating uh, the air thing okay this one isolate and service there is too much of now we can make a uh, two of on on condition okay there is two lever it's not same as uh, the main branch we can see there is two lever once uh, this one lever indicates uh, for this circuit breaker and another one for this disconnector disconnector switch okay for making on this one we need to uh, put the circuit breaker first in off position okay now currently this one in off position we have to put it on off position so we, we are using this another end of this handle for making this one off, off position so we can see here the air thing is now in off position okay. and now we get we have to operate this connector switch now this one in isolate condition we have to put in service condition after that we again we need to open this one and put it on on condition okay now we are uh, making this disconnect switch isolating point to service point we have to use this little power for making this one So uh, now we are going to on the circuit breaker again. Once we disconnect uh, switch, put it on service condition. We have to make it on uh, on on circuit breaker. So by using this another end of this handle, we can pull. So the T of is in on condition. If we connect it to this uh, transformer side, the T of uh, uh, transformer bus, now it will be become energized. This is just a sample. Uh, now it is not connected with any equipment. This is a fresh uh, RMU. This is our yard. We have loads of RMUs here. You can see, and there is too much transformers. And this is for underground transformers. And we have also uh, overhead transformers here back side. And we have another types of RMUs. Snyder's RMU and another lots of different different types of arms and we can see always also this uh, cables different different size of cables also we have here in yard and uh, there is too much materials for our heads everything is in a uh, presently available in our yard okay and about each materials we will discuss in uh, next section now we can uh, close our rms section Okay, thank you.